Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rockos Tech One Two. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to hide supports under your footpaths or tracks. Uh, you'll often want to remove your supports when you're building, uh, for example, when you're building bridges out of pieces of track, or just when your uh, supports are blocking something that's under it from view. It's a question I actually often read. Uh, how to uh, remove the supports on your rides. Um, there's two types of supports. We have the wooden type supports, or the grid type supports, and we have the beam type supports. And they both have different behavior. No, they also uh, both have different ways of removing the supports that work or don't work. I'll start with the beam type supports um, there's three ways to remove these I'll for the first show you the easiest one um, there are certain types of objects called uh, support blockers I'll just uh, search for them now so here we go to advanced to scenery and then I just type blocker there you go, we have the 1k wooden support blocker, the invisible support blocker and JA227 support blocker all these items have in common is that they are invisible items that can block supports um, for this tutorial I'll be using the JA227 support blocker but they all really work the same anyway, here you can see it under the question mark tab I'll just select the J227 support blocker and I click it here under the right and the supports are gone now as these items are invisible you you cannot uh, delete them normally so to delete them you will either have to use the bulldoze tool that's gone or you will have to use the tile inspector there you can see it and then just remove it this is the easiest method of uh, removing supports of the beam type well you may not always have uh, custom scenery available in your map so here's another trick you can use um, I'll just take, a, take an item that we over which normally uh, supports cannot be placed. You can use uh, roofs like this, or you can use a garden like this. Now, of course, they're not vi still visible now. So what we'll do now is there's actually two things you can do now. I'll first show you a trick with the tile inspector. We'll just select this roof here and while we keep it in the list above surface we'll just lower its height there we can make it as low as we want but this will uh, do because it's not visible anymore as you can see the supports above it are now gone while the roof itself is under the surface um, well, here's another trick you can do with the same uh, items I'll disable clearance checks and for the garden I'll just raise the floor above it now we basically have the same effect the game still thinks the excuse me tell inspector yeah the game still thinks the gardens are above the surface because they're above the surface in the list it's actually uh, underground and because it's between the surface and the track the support doesn't get drawn let's remove this one as well and now I will show you the third option of uh, removing supports we just go to tile inspector we click here and we move the track under the surface 
and we do the same here. This is actually the method I uh, most often use because it's the, the easiest to do. Um, this method won't work if your uh, track is above water because there it will be uh, quite glitchy. I will show you an example of that later. Anyway, those were the three methods of uh, removing support from uh, from beam type uh, well beam type support from tracks. So we had the support blocker scenery item. We had gardens or roofs under it, or just moving the track on the surface in the list in Tile Inspector. Now. Um, then we have the wooden type supports or grid type supports. Um, you, the support blockers. Well, you you can place them here, and you will see they do nothing. Also, you can place a garden under it, and it will only stop the supports until the height of the garden. Probably more better visible here. So this is of course not uh, what we want, the supports will only be removed up until a certain height. So in order to remove these, um, we can use two methods. Uh, first, the support blocker, well it's an invisible item, so let's just place them here. As you can see, now the supports will be removed until the height where you place the support blocker. So if we place the support blocker all the way up to the height of the track, then you can see most of the support will be removed. But of you can see there's still a small square of support uh, under the track. So what we'll do then is we we'll go to Tile Inspector you can see the support blockers I just placed at different heights. We'll take the highest one and we'll just raise the height. Now it's actually higher than the track, but still below it in the list. And as you can see, that fully removes the square of support that was still left. And do the same here. And the supports are fully removed. Uh, well, gardens won't work here, but the other trick uh, where you just move the track under the surface still works. There we go, and the supports are gone. This also works for uh, footpaths. And now the game actually thinks the paths are underground. So that's why the supports don't get run. As you can see, um, for some types of uh, path, there's actually a different texture for underground paths. So yeah, be careful when you if you try to remove uh, support this way, uh, sometimes the texture of the path can change. And that's not always what you want. Alright, uh, let me move to here. Here I made a small coaster track. And I'll show you what happens if you uh, r try to remove the supports by moving the track under surface in the list while the track is above water. Let's see if I can make it visible. So now I'll just move all track pieces under the surface. Like this. Oh, you can already see it glitching there for a bit. Like that. Well, as you can see here, there's a piece of track glitching, here's a piece of track glitching. And yeah, that's, uh, this is not something you'll want. So this is quite uh, annoying to, uh, to look at. This will uh, continue happening. 
it's a mistake I often see uh, people make or people wondering why their uh, tracks are, b are being so glitchy so when you have a track above water don't try to uh, remove the supports by putting the track under the surface so in order to stop this uh, glitchiness but still remove the support you'll have to use one of the other two methods so for the wooden track pieces you will have to use the support blockers and for uh, beam type supports you'll either have to use uh, gardens or roofs and put them underground or also use the support blockers now, I'll place a card in here. Now, let's move them on the ground. As you can see, the supports are gone. The gardens are now not visible anymore. And the track doesn't become glitchy. Anyway, that's uh, all for now. I uh, hope to see you again in the next video. See you later!